Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, guys, you know, I've got a full-time job, and this uh, YouTube stuff is, is more than just a part-time job. It's a hobby of mine, but it's, it's actually turned into a job. I mean, <laughs> I've been kind of sick, so I've missed out some videos. I just thought I'd, I'd throw in this video, okay? This is something off the, you know, you can tell from the title, this is something out of the ordinary. Now, I've been doing my own yard work just so I can get some exercise. And, but man, the thing that's so frustrating is my lawnmower. You know, I live in Utah, we have four seasons. So, you know, I cleaned out that carburetor and that lawnmower last season at least three four times. I just got tired of it, so I bought an electric lawnmower. And then... I start buying some electric tools around the yard so I can get the job done without screwing around so I can come in and do YouTube videos. So, Badger, I don't know, it's kind of funny. They reached out and asked me if I wanted to review one of their chainsaws. I'm like, well, that's kind of different for the channel, but heck, you know, us guys, we got to do yard work sometimes. So, and I had, two, you know, a couple of several trees fall over in a storm last year. You guys might have saw some short videos I did on that. If not, you might be interested. I had a big crane, you know, take a tree up over the rooftops out of here. That was pretty cool. So, and by the way, it was a very expensive thing. Insurance covered that part of it. And, but you know what? I, I have to trim trees. I have to take care of them. So... Yeah, this chainsaw. I've got a gas-powered chainsaw. Let's ju jump in this video. I'm going to show you gas-powered compared to electric, okay? Because that's one thing, is when you go electric, you feel like you're losing out on power, and that kind of sucks, right? So, as a matter of fact, I've got a blower that's also mulcher. It's a vacuum. Uh, because I just don't like to blow everything over my neighbor's house, right? I like to vacuum up the leaves, mulch it, and throw them away. Just don't pass it to someone else. I hate that. You know, we have neighbors to do that, and I'm sure I end up with their leaves. But, yeah, so um, I got an electric one, but I got a powered one, not a battery-operated one because I was afraid of losing power. So now I have to use a power station, which I'm really happy. I've got some power stations around here, have these EcoFlows, which I got some stuff stacked on them. They work great. And then I've got a bigger power station that I can use as well for that kind of stuff. This guy is a battery operated, but it does have a pretty nice sized battery and it's 40 volts. So that gives you some power. So. I said, yeah, send it to me. So anyway, let's go take a look. Had some pine tree branches I had to trim off. It's just the beginning of this. I've got some stuff out back, some of the fallen trees, the trunks I gotta chop up. So let me know if you wanna see more of that stuff. But anyway, hey, we're doing electronics here, right? Electronic tools for the yard, awesome. Recharge your batteries, use solar panels, right? That way you don't have to use your power. So anyway. Let's go watch me cut up some branches. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a Badger chainsaw. It's a 40 volt brushless chainsaw, as you can see. It comes with a three year warranty. You get this charger, the Badger charger. You get a tool, the Badger chainsaw manual. And there's the Badger itself. It has a cover for the chain, so I, of course, and comes with a thank you. Thank you, Badger. Uh, lithium batteries, of course, and there's the battery right there. Okay, it's already installed. Let's pull it out. You can see, good size battery, four amp hour. One thing you have to be aware is you need to put chainsaw oil in it. Even though it's electric, it still needs oil for the chainsaw itself. This is a 16 inch chainsaw. All right, so I bought this chainsaw oil. So I just tell you ahead, go ahead and buy a quart or you know buy some before you get your chainsaw. Okay, so the instructions are not very good. 
on how much oil to put in. They say don't fill it past the stick. So I don't know if there's supposed to be an oil stick on that that goes in. So I just filled it to the bottom of that spout. So to automatically lube the chain and there's also an automatic chain tensioner. So that's cool. All right guys, so we're gonna see uh, there's a gas powered home light and the Badger. So let's listen to each one, see what they sound like. All right, so I got some branches up here I'm gonna cut down. I have these branches right here I'm gonna cut down and they are a little bit of a reach, but not bad. All right, so this is what it sounds like, nice and close. Let's see how it cuts. Uh, that was pretty quick, pretty easy. I did forget my sunglasses or my <laughs> protective eye gear, so let me do that. All right, so just for comparison purposes, um, got my gas one here. Got to turn it on. Got to pump the. Got to pump the gas in there a few times. Pull out the choke. Switch on. Everything's good, I guess. And let's see. Ah, uh, that's the problem with. That's the problem with gas ones, right? So that's the problem with gas ones, right? They're just kind of a pain in the butt. Let me do that again. You know, the problem with these things is they do have a short cord for a reason, but you hit the end of that really hard when I'm pulling hard like I am. So you gotta be a little easier. There we go. Chokes off. I thought I had this pulled back. Okay, so there's some power there. I got a bigger log on their side I'm gonna try, okay? Bigger branch. <laughs> now it's warmed up. Okay, you can see that was a little bit more effort, right? I left part of that branch on so I could try it with this. It'd be slightly larger diameter. Again, this, you're watching me the first time using these things. Well, I mean, I've used that before. 
Actually, I used that not too long ago. All right, that was simple. All right, so that home light, I bought this new. It's had light use, but it has had some use, so maybe they changed all fast, I don't know, but that took a lot more effort, right? I'm not sure the spin, I'm not sure the RPM difference is. I'm going to look up specs and show it right here, but guys, I, I was surprised. Now, this is a longer blade. I don't know if that, that shouldn't make any difference with this size of log. Okay. I'm going to try it again. That's the biggest problem. <laughs> Definitely loud, right? All right, let's try this again. Another advantage, super lightweight. I actually could control that really easily with one hand. Small, you know, relatively small branch, right? Maybe three inch diameter. Woo. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of those off. Okay, guys, you can see some of the damage I've done. Some of the branches I've cut off on this tree. And then over on this tree, I've cleaned up a lot of this where I can reach. And I don't want to get too crazy on that ladder. But yeah, look at that. All the way around this tree. Up there pretty high, actually. Then over on this side, all those branches. And here is the wasteland. Now, just to give you an idea of the size, you can see that. Um, there's some pretty big ones in here, like this one. You know, those there. So there's pretty large size ones. So I cut down quite a few, right? <clears throat> Look at this. This one's nice big one and maybe this was the biggest one I don't know but you know what especially since they're pretty dried up it ripped them really simple it ripped them really easily so pretty cool come over here and there we go our badger That's what the blade looks like. Looking pretty good. And the battery, let's see what the battery says. Can I push the button? Okay, use about half the battery for that. So what do you think of Badger? Uh, I couldn't believe how fast this ripped through the branches. Uh, now, 
I got to tell you, I, I started editing the video, and I think the gas, I think my microphone automatically adjusts for over, you know, for loud noises, because that gas-powered one, you could hear me talking when I running that, and you could hear my voice being lower too, because I think the microphone went, whoa, you know, it's too loud. <laughs> so the electric, one, you know, the gas-powered ones are kind of a pain. Although, I got to tell you that home light or home life or whatever uh, chainsaw, I've used it a few times, and even though it's kind of a pain, it does start up and run, and it works great. So I have been happy with that. But this Badger, just knowing I just put oil in for a chain, that's, uh, you know, enough oil in there is probably going to last me forever for, for life of this thing, probably, even though I got some serious work to do. But, yeah, I love electric tools. It's just gas-powered lawnmowers and that just bite. <sighs> Guys, I have a snow blower that runs off gas. It's, like, brand new, too, just like my lawnmower. But yet, yeah, it went through two winter seasons. Now, I, last couple winter seasons, I haven't been able to start it because whatever. And it'll run off of my AC power, the starter. So I can plug it in and go, rah, 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 rah. you know, it just won't start. No matter what I do with the choke, no matter how much I prime it. So I'm sure the carburetor's jammed up on that one. It only takes a few little small dirt particles to get in the jets to jam them up. And the snowblower... The carburetor's buried, so I'm going to have to uh, get in there and clean that out and get that working for this winter because i got a feeling we're going to have a big winter. But anyway, thanks, Badger. Really appreciate it. This thing, I don't... Okay, so guys, the other chainsaw I actually have used for a couple years. I mean, very light use, though, but still I've used it. I don't know how fast chainsaws dull, but that definitely took a little more work. Than this electric one. This badger just buzzed right through it. Uh, this it's nowhere near as loud, so I don't have to bother my neighbors. And you know, I can get up in the morning if I if I got up in the mornings. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. If you come home late one night, you want to chop some branches off. You don't have to worry about starting up a loud electric motor. You know, gas engine. Motors are electric. Engines are gas, right? So. I should call it a gas engine versus the electric motor. Electric motor is definitely way quieter. Uh, appreciate it, Badger. Really, thank you. And hope you guys, you know, let me know in the video if you like these kind of oddball videos once in a while. I think I'm going to do it. I've been doing a few of them, and they seem like they've been doing pretty well. So, uh, yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, now, Also, I'm going to put the link for this Badger. I believe it's got a nice sale going on, and the cost of this thing is very inexpensive too. Again, you can store it away, and you don't have to worry about storing gas and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about, you know, storing this the proper way like I do my other chainsaw. Now I'm going to sell that chainsaw, so there we go. Um, but yeah, this guy, it's electric. Just keep it charged, and it's ready to go. When you have some tree fall down like I did. I had four trees. I had three huge pine trees and a small aspen fall down. They were taken away, but I still have trunks to uh, take care of. So I'm going to see what I can do with this thing. That would be really interesting if this thing can make a, make a mark in those big old trunks. But let me know if you guys want to see another video on this. Meanwhile, there we go. Thanks, Badger. Appreciate it. Uh, two thumbs up to my patrons, as always. And uh, two thumbs up to the members of the channel. I think I only have three now. I had four. I was up to four. Down to three. There we go. That's the way it goes. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. And uh, hope you hope you found this interesting. Let me know in the comments, okay? All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.